I'd like to welcome y'all to another episode of the Sit Down Network. We bring it all to the table while bringing real back. Yeah. Today we have a special guest. Special guest, tell us who you are. I'm Darcel. Darcel is in the building. We're going to get straight locked in today with some grown folk conversation. So, there's so much going on yeah. in the world. So many places, but uh, so Garcia, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you like to do, what's your what's your conversation, what you like, what you like to talk about. Wow, I guess yeah. There are so many titles. Uh, I'm someone on a spiritual journey who is excited for this new chapter uh, of life. That's a plus. That's a plus. Life right now is crazy for us all, so I think just just getting to the point to uh, to, to be in a comfortable place to love with yeah. is big right there. So Definitely. Big, big ups on that. Uh, there's a lot of politics going on. There's always a lot of politics going on. Where do you sit at with politics? Yeah. Uh, I understand that all the world's a stage, and so. I understand the players and I I pay attention, but I also use my energy to look at all things. It's I'm not absorbed into it. I would say either way. Right. That's a, that's to have a different perspective because some people can see it from I guess the vision that they can see it from, but when you can see it from all angles, it gives you another chance at the game. That's a plus two. My stance on yeah. politics is I think a lot of it is some BS, but it's a lot of good parts to it too. I ain't biased either way. So yeah. on another note, tell us what it takes to be spiritual. Like how do you if if I was somebody that today I decided I wanted to be spiritual. How, how do I get to the place of being spiritual? It sounds so cliche to say, you know, you're, you've been doing it all along, but you really have. You just have to take the time to pay attention to your life. You will be receiving signs, symbols, synchronicities all day. Right. You know, in the waking world, and then you have the astral plane, so that's when our physical body is resting and our soul is traveling beyond this place, also getting messages and signs. Oh, so wow. it's just tapping in to yourself and loving yourself. Yeah. And I would say starting there and doing that the whole time, learning yourself, being patient with yourself. I mean, that, that is spirituality. It's, being in service to yourself as well, filling your cup before you fill anyone else's. That right there, loving yourself is such a big one because most people don't even know what it's like to love yourself. Because when you truly love yourself, you want what's best for yourself. Yeah. And that's on all levels. That's on a relationship standpoint. That's from a spiritual standpoint. That's from just everything about yourself. You just don't better for yourself so that's that's a real big one and uh yeah. appreciate you giving us some game on spirituality uh, for the listeners and people that's listening that's a heavy one because that's how you open the door to everything else okay so as we keep going what about relationships like the set of relationships i like to say different forms from friendships to companionships to workmanships it's all type of uh is, is relationships important or yeah. is that a figure of imagination or what do you, you do? How do, what's your take on relationships? So yeah, all relationships are important. We came down into this realm to experience all things. So when we're taking notice of our lives, we're noticing how, as I said earlier, all the world's a stage. Even the realities right. we create for ourselves, there are characters 
if we're drawing in the same type of people constantly, then that's, you know, a sign from the universe that we need to work on something, heal something, um, pay attention to something, resolve something, which uh, we know as karma. And there's so many ways to look at that. Um, but yeah, relationships <clears throat> are very important um, with our family, our friends, with ourselves, and also um, with our mates, because this is a time of union and sure. relationships are a huge part of spirituality because um, sexuality is also spirituality. So you have to be comfortable with who you are in that way, because I said we're experiencing this world um, through frequencies, through um, that physical touch, all the five senses. And then when the chakras uh, <clears throat> are activated and we're enlightened, we're tuned in, these relationships are taken to a whole new dynamic because we're understanding that, we were just talking about this earlier, right. um, accepting people for who uh -huh. they are, um, loving unconditionally, others that don't need to be in our lives anymore. We graduate from them. You know, we go beyond that level and the universe uh -huh. replaces that. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. This so relationships, sense. yeah, you know, and that relationships, uh, that or that personal relationship that we have with God, yeah, which sure. again comes back to ourself. So we are experiencing that Godship definitely through relationship. Yeah. Relationships is big and uh, I think you should always try to salvage the ones that you care about. I guess every yeah. relationship may be one that should be valued or one that should I guess you know as a person how to roll that dice with that one. But yeah. um, moving along, okay, so you have a few kids, yeah. right? <laughs> I do. I have three, you three know, wonderful you know, children. You know we wasn't gonna let you get out here without <laughs> talking about the kids, because over here we believe in the kids. <laughs> our yes. kids, our kids. We like to think we run our kids. Our kids kind of run us. They got the best idea, but most times, <laughs> and sometimes it be the real right idea. Yeah. So, uh, so um, you having three kids. Tell us some of the things you've experienced as a mother, as yeah. with those three kids. What has what came with those three kids? Uh, all that I am today, uh, so much of that is because of them. Um, I like to say that I triadicized my heart. Like I <laughs> <laughs> gave three of myself, three ways to to view myself. And again, that's that God shit, that ability to create and then look yeah. at that creation and live through that creation. Let that creation teach you that it's such a, a beautiful thing. And I, my children, I, I was telling them just on Mother's Day, like, wow, you know, you guys chose me as your mom. So that's huge because I, oh, my journey has just been, it's been rough. And they chose to, you know, take that ride with me. And I, I tell them all the time as we face things in life, like we chose to do this together. Right. We're going to do this together it's and great. let it be beautiful. Yeah. That's big. That's super big. Um, any other topics you want to get on? I mean, yeah. we not going to have to take a minute more. I mean, this is a good conversation all this is well needed, I feel like, for the world. Anytime you can come in here and be therapeutic and really just talk and sit down, it's a real good room for conversation. So, 